Professional U.S. sport leagues are scrambling to persuade players to get vaccinated. Last month, the NFL said COVID infections among unvaccinated players could lead to forfeited games. Now, while many athletes have received the COVID vaccine by now, others have publicly said that they don't really want it. I chatted with Mark Kreidler with our partners at Kaiser Health News, and here's what he had to say. All right, Mark, so why are most U.S. sports leagues really struggling right now to get their teams fully vaccinated? They're having a really hard time getting to the thresholds they want to establish, which is 85 percent, which really for the teams individually means at 85 percent, they feel like they have a pretty good chance of remaining mostly safe, mostly uninfected. And, and the least it, it gives them the best chance to not have games canceled or forfeited or anything like that. That has proved a very elusive number, 85 percent. And that goes back to, I think, sort of the larger divide in the country. There are a certain percentage of professional athletes, um, just as there are a certain percentage of Americans who simply won't take a vaccine. And so th the leagues have tried lots of different methods to sort of drive toward that 85 percent threshold. But at this point, only the Women's National Basketball Association, the WNBA, has crested well past that. And they're practically... 100% vaccinated. They're clearly the exception and not the rule. So how does an athlete's stance on the vaccine impact the general public? As opposed to some celebrities, athletes have been extremely guarded about either saying yay or nay on their vaccination status, uh, partly because they fear public blowback, excuse me, public blow, blowback either way. Um, that kind of goes back to the, you know, sort of the political divide on the vaccine itself. And athletes tend to be um, aware of their own uh, standing, first and foremost. And so a lot of them are going to say, I don't want to risk alienating anybody either way. So I'm just going to keep it to myself. Football season is around the corner. So what are teams and unions doing to boost vaccination rates among players? Yeah, the, it's a really interesting question, Alex, because the, the NFL is trying um, something that's they tried the, the carrot. Um, for a long time to entice players to to be vaccinated. Now they're moving a little bit closer to the stick. Mm. The NFL is essentially saying to players who don't want to be vaccinated, that's your right, but as a private business, here's how we're going to operate. And players who are unvaccinated will be severely restricted um, in, the, in their movements around even their team's campus, within the cafeterias, they're limited in their access to the weight room. When the team goes on the road, they have to remain in the team hotel. Unvaccinated players have none of those restrictions. So essentially the NFL, in cooperation with the players union, is sort of creating a divide, if you will, to, to almost as an inducement for more teams to cross an 85% threshold. Once they get to that threshold, um, unvaccinated players will still be isolated, but their numbers will be so small that the chance for distraction is lower. Mark Kreidler with KHN, thank you. Yeah.